Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I will show you how to use the Avada alert element. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. Ok, let's begin. The alert element is a useful and versatile element for adding various types of alerts or notices to your Avada website. There are four preset alert types and one custom one. So depending on your situation, you can quickly use the predefined ones, or you can customize your own with your preferred choice of colors and icons. Let's have a look. I'll go to the last element of this column here on the Avada Dispensary prebuilt and click the plus symbol to add the alert element below. The element is loaded, and as we can see, the error alert is the default type. I'll just add a 50 pixel top margin here to move this away from the button a bit. OK, so as I select the three other different preset alert types, you can see how both the colors and icons change. When we get to the custom alert type, we get five new options at the top, as here we can configure both the colors, border, and the icon used in this alert. We'll look further at the custom alert in a bit, but first let's look at the options common to all alerts. I'll just come back to general. The first option then is content alignment. The default is centered, but you can also align to the left or right. I'll leave it in the center. One thing to note is that the alert element will always fill the column it's in. Then come padding and margin options. I used a top margin to move it away from the element above, and we could also use left and right margins to limit its width. If we set padding values, however, we would be adjusting the internal dimensions of the element, making it narrower or bigger. OK, the next option is text transform. The default is normal here, which is set in the global options of the alert element. But in the element itself, you can choose from either option. Link color inheritance is the next option. This determines whether any links added to the alert should inherit the alert box text color or the link colors from the container. Dismiss button is the next option, and this allows you to make the alert box dismissible or not. The default can be any of the three options, such as boxed as it is here, floated, which places the button in the flow of the text, or none, which means the alert cannot be dismissed by the user at all. Below this is a box shadow option, but in this case, against a dark background, we won't see that anyway. So I'll leave that at the current default of no. Then comes the alert content. Because it uses a text field, you can edit the alert text directly on the screen, but you can also edit the content through the visual editor if you prefer. Theoretically, at least, you could even add another element here through the Avada Builder Element Generator, like a small button perhaps, but typically these alerts will just be text. The final options here are element visibility, which allows you to choose whether the element is displayed on various screen sizes, and the CSS class and CSS ID fields, which allow you to further customize the element with custom CSS. There is also an extras tab for this element, which allows you to add an entrance animation to the element. See the link video for more information on element animations. The other area that affects the options in the alert element is found in the global options under the Avada Builder Elements alert section. A quick way to get there is to click the cog icon of any of the options that have a default value. The values here are the default settings for the element, and here you can configure the default colors for the various preset alert types, as well as several other options. In this way, you can make the presets look how you like, and get the element to behave how you want by default. For my example here, I'm going to come back to the element options and choose custom. So now we have five new options to style the alert. Here I will configure the accent color to be color 3, and the background to be color 3 as well, just with a minus 90 adjustment to the alpha channel in the global color options. I'll leave it with a 1 pixel border, and I'll pick an appropriate icon. I might search for a store icon here, and select that, and then on the screen I'll just edit this to say, our products can only be shipped to USA states and territories. OK, that looks fine. If we just save this page, and head to the front end, and just get past this off canvas pop up. Here we can see our alert. When we have read it, if we want, we can dismiss it with the X in the corner and go on with our browsing. OK, that's the alert element. As you can see, it's a great way to inform your users of any important messages, usually temporary ones. OK, this concludes our video on how to use the Avada alert element. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.